Hello everybody, what is up? My name is Killsteam. I am back with another awesome Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video for you guys today. Now in today's video, we have some awesome, awesome things to go over for the beta coming very, very soon. I think it's just about in like a week and a couple days, the beta is going to drop first on PS4. I will do a giveaway very, very soon of beta tokens for that. I'll do a whole nother video explaining what I'm talking about. In the very very near future so let's get right into this new beta news today we had a lot of new things dropped today we had all of the maps that's going to be in the beta we have all of the game modes and also we have all of the combat rigs that will be in the beta um, now we do not know if they're going to be adding more maps and more combat rigs or something throughout the beta as it goes on but um, we do know when the beta does start this is the stuff that's going to be in it so let's go over the maps so the maps we have for the beta the first one is called frontier um, it's a circular two lane fast paced frontier is a small section of a giant space station that is in orbit around the planet neptune the action is funneled down a long central corridor with side paths offering an element of strategy in constricted lower lane for players craving chaos Next map we have here is Frost. It's a linear, three-lane, medium-paced, a research facility set atop the icy surface of Jupiter's moon Europa. Um, Apple opportunities for, for vertical combat and rapid encounters around sleek um, Mardor elements highlight this frozen battleground. And the next one and the last one, there's only three maps in the beta. They may add, they may add more maps, like just like Black Ops 3 did for their beta. But when the beta does get dropped, these are the maps that we'll be having. Frontier, Frost, and Throwback. Throwback is a bent three-lane medium pace. This throwback 1950s Main Street USA local sits on a giant rotating torus shaped space station. A large circle lane rings the perimeter, um, while a large center square with multiple avenues of approach and two opposing windows offers a wide range of engagements opportunities so that's really really awesome those three maps look absolutely absolutely insane frontier for awesome throwback really really awesome maps and i don't even think any of them are on the planet earth so um just letting you guys know so yeah so now for the modes there's going to be four modes coming to the beta when it does start these four modes are team deathmatch kill confirm domination and defender which is kind of a new one um we had team defender back in modern warfare 3 but defender's like a whole new game mode i made a whole new video about that click the card on your screen right now to go watch what defender is all about so the last thing that's going to be in the beta that we know of right now is the combat rigs. So the combat rigs are really, really awesome. It's a new improvement, just like Specialist from Black Ops 3. And we're going to have three combat rigs. If you do not know what all the combat rigs do and all the payloads and traits they have, go see this video right now. It's a card on your screen to go watch about the combat rigs. When so, you're back here and you know all the names to each combat rig and all those traits and stuff, you know they have a really, really widespread options where you can choose from for um, each combat rigs so there's gonna be three combat rigs coming to the beta the first one is warfighter um the second one is merc and the third one is a sympathetic so that's really awesome those three will going to be in the beta really really awesome stuff and there also is a really new feature going coming to the beta for infinite warfare it's called um this new feature called mission teams metagame feature really really awesome cool feature i'm gonna read about it right now so mission teams bring a metagame to multiplayer in call of duty infinite warfare by completing missions while enlisted in a team you will earn a team rank complete those missions with honors and you will earn extra experience towards your rank each team has a unique commander who delivers missions to you and comments on your success or failure. Ranking up will give you rewards for that team, including calling cards, camos, emblems, unique combat ri combat rig com cosmetics. Co combat rig cosmetics are like um, different uniforms and outfits for your combat rigs. And also, you will get specific prototype weapons, which are available from getting through crafting and supply drops. You can also earn these prototype weapons from your team and all that awesome stuff that the team rewards give you as well. Now, more information will be coming along the coming days as we get closer to the Infinite Warfare beta. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one, everybody. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace out, guys.